hey guys so welcome back to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create whiteboard animation for free using canva right so the first thing you're going to do is to log into your canva account and right now i'm using the free version of canva now i'm going to be creating a facebook reel to create this video so go to the search bar and i'm going to be typing facebook reel here under templates make sure you're under template and canva is going to suggest some template for me you're going to see the free versions and also the paid versions because i'm on the free plan right so i'm going to be using this free template here so just click on that and click customize this template to start using right so once it's in here i'm going to go ahead to delete all elements on this template because i don't need them so just highlight it or select it and click the trash icon um, and it's going to be deleted Next, we're going to go to the left, to the far left corner and go to apps. Now, once you're on apps, go to the search bar and type and type in magic media. Right. So this is the app we need. Click here. This is the app. This is a text to image generation tool. And we're going to look, a, look for a particular style. So just click see all. I'm going to be choosing a particular style and I'll need a digital. I'm going to be using a digital art style and we're going to be using this concept art. Right. Now, this is it here. So just click on that. And next is to put in our script. Right. So we're going to use good old um, chat GPT, of course, to generate our script for us. And I'm going to be giving it this we prompt. The Bible. And it says, write me a short creative story ad to advertise my soap Bible study journal. The story should center around a young girl who finds difficulty reading and engaging with the Bible. This is actually a personal struggle of mine. And I struggled with reading my Bible for a very long time. And that's the reason why I actually created this Bible study journal. I realized that this particular method makes Bible studies very easy and it also helps me to connect more with the scriptures that I'm reading. If you want to have a closer relationship with God and of course learn how to study a Bible properly then you can go check out this Bible study journal. It is available on Amazon. I'm going to leave the link in the description box and plus if you enjoy my content this is another way to help or to support me. Thank you so much in advance if you go purchase. All right, so once your script is generated, we're going to copy it and bring it to Google Docs and paste. So I'm going to take a scene so that I can generate an image for it. So I'm going to go back to the script and maybe, yeah, I'm going to take this bustling city, then come here and paste and click generate image and let's see what it generates. All right, so these are them. I'm going to choose this one. I think this is okay. And then all I need to do is to just adjust it. I'm going to do like a half up, half down image type. And again, I'm going to go again and ask for another image. And this time I'm going to be asking for an image of a young girl sitting in a sitting room with her Bible, right? Confused or confused, don't know how to read her Bible. And then click generate. And yeah, this is it. I'm going to choose this one. And you can see it gives us four different options. So you're going to select the one that you like. And then just adjust to fit your canvas. All right, so once my image is on my canvas and I'm good to go, the next step is to download this as a single image, as a PNG file. So we're going to go on share and click download. And we're going to leave it as a PNG Now, after it's done downloading, we're going to save it into our device and we're going to come back to this canvas and delete the elements here. And we're going to go back to upload. We're going to upload the image that we just downloaded. Go to upload and click upload files. And we're going to grab the image from our device and bring it here, right? So it turns into a single image. So once it's done uploading, Oh, it's uploaded. We're going to click on it and bring it into this canvas here. And then we're going to just adjust it so it fits the canvas perfectly. So, all right, so it is 
in here. Next, we're going to go to apps again. This time we're going to type in speed painter. So this is it. And yeah, so this is the app right here. So you're going to tap on that. Right? Right next is to choose your file or the image. Now we're going to just bring your cursor on this canvas and select this image and it's going to appear here. You're going to see it here. And you're going to give now the sketch duration. How long do you want your, the sketching of the image to last? So choose the number of seconds here. I'm going to just leave three seconds because we don't want this scene to be too long. Now for the color field duration, we're also going to leave that at three seconds. And make sure you take this um, little box which says add sketching hand effect, right? To get that effect or as if the, there's a hand sketching actually doing the sketching. So once we're done, click generate and just wait. Right, so this is it. This is the preview. Now, once you, if you are okay with it, you can just use your cursor and tap. It's going to bring it into your canvas. So this is it right here. All you need to do now is to use your cursor and drag and adjust it to fit your canvas. And next is to just click and play. And this is it. You can see how long it took three seconds to draw to sketch and then three seconds to actually do the color fill. And that it is. Now we're not actually done. You're going to create another scene and then take the same image and just the static image and just place it there so that it's going to be the reveal. So let's see how to do that. So you're going to come down here, click the plus sign to create another scene. And we're going to go to upload and grab the same image and place it here. We're going to adjust the clip, just drag to make it a bit smaller, all right? And then also adjust the image on the canvas, right? To fit it perfectly. And yeah, we can play it and see how that looks like, right? So it is catching and it's revealing. And we we'll go to the next scene, which is this scene, right? Right, but we want a smooth transition effect to happen, right? So what you're going to do is to come here, click in between the scene, click their little transition icon or which looks like a D. And you're going to see these transitions, the different transitions here. We're going to choose this dissolve effect, right? And we can just play and let's see how it's going to look like. See that it dissolves smoothly into the other scene, making the transition more better. All right, next we need a voiceover and we're going to be using Eleven Labs to help us with that. Now, Eleven Labs is actually free. All you need to do is to sign up with your email address. You're going to use it for free. So I'm going to come back to my script here and just copy a copy the script and then come here, paste it and then choose a voice character. And yeah, it's going to read my scripts. And if I'm okay with that, if you're okay with that, you can just click the download icon right here and the audio is going to be downloaded. You can take it back to Canva. All right, so we're going to upload the audio file here. Go to upload and then going to drag the audio that we've just downloaded. Open it up here and then go to the audio under upload. Go to audio section and then click. And then you can just drag down the audios under your scenes or your clips down here. Right. So you can adjust it, just drag it, you can cut it, you can like you can just adjust it to make sure it flows seamlessly with your with your video. Right? So you can play it and if it's okay, then you can continue with the other scenes. So this is you're going to follow the same procedure. You're going to follow the same procedure to create your scenes, to add audios, and you're going to have a video act. So you can play it and see how it's going to look. So that is how you can easily create a whiteboard animation for free in Canva. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please not hesitate to hit that thumbs up button and also leave a comment if you have any question. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, guys, please just hit that subscribe button. That's another way to support your girl. 
and we're going to see you in the next video. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Lila. Lila had always felt a deep longing for a close relationship with God, but she struggled with reading, understanding, and connecting with the Bible scriptures. The ancient language and complex passages seemed like an insurmountable barrier to her. Lila's heart yearned for the wisdom and comfort that the Bible promised, but she often found herself lost in its pages. She attended church services faithfully, listened to sermons, and tried to memorize verses, but it felt like grasping at shadows. She longed for a way to truly engage with God's Word. One sunny afternoon, as Lila scrolled through YouTube videos, she stumbled upon a video of a young lady giving her wonderful experience with a book titled Make Room for Two Soap Bible Study Journal. The vibrant colors of the book cover and delicate patterns drew her in, and she decided to buy it and give it a try. That evening, Lila sat down with her new journal, a pen in hand, and opened her Bible. She had heard of the soap method before, but it had always seemed too complicated. However, the journal provided clear instructions, and Lila decided to give it a try. The soap method stood for four simple steps. S. Scripture. Lila would write down a specific verse or passage from the Bible. She chose Psalm 23, 1 as her starting point. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. O. Oh, observation. Lila observed the details of the verse. She noticed the imagery of God as a shepherd and pondered what it meant for her life. A. Application. Next, Lila considered how this verse applied to her daily life. She reflected on her own desires and needs, realizing that God's provision was enough. P. Prayer. Finally, Lila wrote a heartfelt prayer based on the verse. She thanked God for being her shepherd and asked for guidance in trusting him fully. As Lila filled the pages of her journal, something remarkable happened. The words of Scripture came alive. She no longer felt lost. Instead, she felt like she was having a conversation with God. The structured approach of the SOAP method helped her focus, and she began to understand the context of each passage. The journal's prompts encouraged her to apply the lessons she learned to her everyday life. And the best part? Lila's prayers flowed naturally. She discovered that praying using Scripture was like having a direct line to God's heart. The more she wrote, the more she felt connected to Him. Within just one day of using the SOAP Bible Study Journal, Lila felt transformed. She could easily delve into a Scripture, understand its meaning, and see how it applied to her life. The journal's beauty was more than skin deep. It had become a bridge between her and God. From that day forward, Lila faithfully used her journal. She grew in her faith, and her relationship with God blossomed. The soap method had unlocked the treasure trove of God's word for her, and she couldn't be more grateful. And so, in the quiet moments of her room, Lila continued to make room for two, herself and the God who spoke through the pages of her journal.